the interval of continuity of this function is when we'll solve this we are going to choose from one of these options to solve this let's consider some basic rules zero is not allowed at the denominator of a function if this happens the function will tend to infinity that is it will become undefined also zero is not allowed inside the square root if the square root is at the denominator this will equally make the function to cease to exist that is it will tend to infinity because of these rules we are basically consigned with the denominator only step number one solve for the variables inside the square root at the denominator and here we are going to equate it to zero next x will be here and 10 will move over and become minus 10 next consider the position of minus 10 on the number line here minus 10 is at this position remember this is negative infinity and this is positive infinity that means towards this side we are going towards positive infinity towards this direction we are going towards negative infinity when you put minus 9 into this function for x you are going to get 1 next let's consider minus 8 hence we are going to put minus 8 for x and we are going to still get a positive next we can try minus 6 or 0 or 6 even 200 as we keep moving towards this direction you're going to observe that we are not going to have any problem with x or at the denominator however let's consider numbers towards the negative infinity let's try minus 11 and you can see we obtained undefined that is it tends to infinity we can try minus 12 minus 13 minus 15 minus 50 as we keep going towards the negative infinity you will discover that you will not get an answer it will keep tending to infinity hence it means that we can approach but we can never get for this function to be continuous as soon as we get and we move towards this direction this function will discontinue this means that minus 10 we obtained when we solved this function must be excluded however we can continue towards positive infinity and infinity is always open then this must be separated with a comma and this becomes the condition for the continuity of the function and our answer is b you can check out other videos and other topics in pre-calculus and you can locate other videos by following the link on the screen i will see you in the next video